Hello, everyone. So, from now on, until I have the money anyways, I'm not showing my face anymore. And um, my reasoning for not showing my face anymore is I'm tired of the complaints about stuff in the background. This way, there's nothing to complain about. You can't see what's in the background. All right? Um, maybe one day I'll get this replaced with something, you know, better. Better. But for now... This is it. So, all right, now let's just kind of get into what we're going on. What's going on here? Somebody, I well, actually, I wouldn't say somebody. A few people have been asking me how I do my um, blah, 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 uh, give me a second to get my brain to work here, but uh. How I make the uh, swinging uh, platforms and whatnot. So I thought I would talk about how I did that. Um, it starts with animations. Let's start with that. Let's start with animation. Um, let's see. Um, well, there's these. What the hell is going on here? Hang on. Give me a second. These are the platforms. Uh, ooh, these are the spinning spikes. And it comes in two different graphics. But I think you're more worried about how I... I think people are more worried about how I do this. So, let's talk about that. Um, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Or is it? Did I leave it in here? No, I didn't even leave it in here. Well, where is that graphic now? Come on, man. Platforms. Well, these are the platforms. Spinny wheels. Here we go. Wheels. Why do I call them wheels? Like, yeah, I don't even know why I called it pinwheel or whatever, but if somebody has a better name for what I call these, let me know. So you start with the wheel. There's two different wheels. Um, one is for the, f like, forest area, green areas. Well, this one's going to be used in, like, castles and, uh, just dungeons and whatnot. Uh, the gold one is. Uh, for everything else is just a piece of, like, a wood, almost like a wood, a uh, piece of a wood log pointing outward. But you're going to want these. You're going to want a connection point right here in the middle. Start with that. Um... Now I'm going to talk about the actual, the links. I think they're links. Yeah, these things right here. Okay. I have different sizes. Now, if you'll notice right here in the middle, it ends with this spacing right here. There's a good reason for that. The reason that it ends with the spacing like this is because that makes it about eight. Eight for the middle. So whenever this part right here in the center is connected to the wheel, it lands right here in the center. That way that last, uh part right here let's go with the uh let's go with the mid ones mid uh yeah this one okay so i have these and um are these the swinging ones or the they're not the spinning ones they're the uh swinging ones i do believe okay so one is left and one is right i actually made it like that intentionally because some platforms when you come upon them, we'll start from the other direction. They'll go that, or they'll start going that direction first, and then they'll swing back, or they'll swing towards you, and then so on and so forth. Uh, one of the things you got to make sure that you do is that you have it set to curve. Do not set it to linear, it because then it won't do that slow down towards the end. Because these, there's this part where it'll slow down. You want to start it right in the center, uh, then the next one is moves over to. For, for instance, for me, it moves over minus 85, then back to center, then uh, plus 85, and then back to center. And this has, n like, no frame. And when you add just the right amount of time between the frames, like, like so... Um, it'll kind of, it'll come up to here, it'll so I'll show you in motion. Yeah, see? Almost like there's a gravity to it. Almost. 
Like, I don't understand. I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do this. Like, I'm pretty sure somebody will figure out a way to do this using, um, well, I forget what they're, I forget what it's called, but, um, I'm sure someone will figure out a better way to do this using physics or something. And, and I'm sure there is a better way to do this with physics. But I don't understand physics yet. I, I've been using this software for so long and I haven't, I haven't dived into phys physics because physics seems pretty complex. And I haven't seen any explanation of physics. So let's start. Let's see. Which way did it go first? Yeah, right. It goes right first. And then this one goes vice versa. They're the other way around. Left first. Okay, and I made it with different links in mind. Like there's a long one. A long vein. There we go. There's the long one. As you can see. I've got one for each graphic. Like there's one for... Ch now I know I could use this right here to change the graphic. But it became, it became kind of annoying and kind of complex to do it that way. So I didn't do it that way. I uh, just made separate graphics. It just kind of worked out better than having to have... Because then you have to have a... Uh, uh, part of the object telling it to change graphics and it just got annoying. I didn't want to mess with it. So yeah So you see how that one's uh, I tried doing this also with spinning and it didn't want to work right It just didn't want to work right um The platform was not wanting to stay Or to spin well with it. It didn't want to spin right with it. So we have you have a vein or a vine or whatever vein. Good God, you have the sw the swinging sort of um back and forth. Wee wee. Okay, you have that going on. Um, and at the end there's another link. That's the other thing I forgot to mention. You got to make sure you got another link right here. At the very end, like it's at the very end, actually. Let's go down here a bit. See, it's right here connected at the very end of it. You're gonna want to make sure you have another connection point because that's where the platform's gonna go. Now, this is something that I couldn't figure out a better way to do this, and it's very frustrating because there's there's no option to tell whatever you connect to one object not to sit there and animate like with it. So I literally had to animate the, um, I literally had to animate the platform to go against the, uh, the swinging of the vine. So let's go to, uh, platforms. Let's see the tilt. Okay. So we have this one right here. It's called tilt. And there, what I had to do is I couldn't leave them. It, this is the other thing I got to mention. It uses the exact same amount of timing between the thing and it basically goes the opposite direction and it goes against which way the vine is going and the reason for that is is if you don't do it like this the actual platform for some damn reason will just spin or will just go back and forth with the um with the swinging of the vine and it'll animate with it so it won't stay flat. That's what I'm trying to say. So you have to literally just animate it against it. You have to animate it like that. And and during the game, you'll notice that it um when it when it tilts back and forth in the game that this stays still. And the reason it stays still is like I said it's it's rocking with the uh the vine it rocks against it and this prevents the platform itself from from tilting because otherwise it would tilt with the vine i hope i'm explaining this well and and vice versa i have to uh tilt it the other way see it tilts upright first and right is actually wait yeah right is that way it goes left right goes left left goes right you see what I'm saying? It goes against it. And I had the reason it has to animate that way is like I said, it'll sit there and it'll do this weird thing where it'll tilt with the vine. And so you can't stand on it. That's what I'm trying to say. You can't stand on it. I mean, 
It's kind of frustrating because wall detection doesn't move anyways. That's your wall right there. The wall doesn't tilt. The wall stays still. So you can't have like a slot, have it turn into a slope or anything. It's going to be like this. So I guess the best way to do this is in practice is to show you what I'm talking about. But before we jump into that and before I show you how it, you know, kind of an ex better to help fully realize my exp explanation. I'll show you it in action, but we have to go into the objects first because I think it's best if I just teach you how I have them linked together sort in the uh, objects. So I have this subfolder called stage objects. You don't have to have this. I mean, you can go about it any way you want, but this is how I have it. And I have this subfolder called uh, swinging spinner or something like that. So you start with a wheel. You have uh, wheel spikes and uh, uh, wheel plats. What? Oh, okay, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. This one's for spikes. This one's for platforms. And uh, it just uses the same bunch of groups. Because what I do in the, uh, in the game, whenever I set them in the stage, I will literally... Let's see if I can't grab one of these. See if I can't grab the platform. There it is. It's in the main thing. Is I set it up by just telling it to start on this action, and there's the action for it. And I told it to start with that action. Action. So then it goes to the. Wait a minute. Which action is long vine swing plat? So then in the object we have long vine swing spikes. Oh, I'm under spikes, aren't I? Plat. There we go. Sorry. Long vine swing plat because it generates an object to the linked portion. So this will generate the long vine that's teetering back and forth, connected to the points as necessary. Right here. Zero, zero, blah, blah, blah. Generate as child object, match generated object orientation to this object, lower this object. And you can adjust this how you want right here. This doesn't matter. Match generated object orientation to this object. Generate as a child object. Um, like I said, there's no option here that tells the animation not to do the the thing. Like especially when you generate the platform, and of course the platforms are. Wait a minute. So I have the wheels right here. Oh, here we go. The platforms, and because it's all underneath this. So we have platforms here, and here's the different platforms. Okay, we have uh, stone ones for the like the castles, like I said, but then we have the wood ones. Um, I can't remember which one I'm having it go to. That's spin, wood platform, spin, and normal wood platform. I have no idea. Change animation set. What the what? I guess I left that in there. I don't think that's necessary anymore, but uh, I think I can get rid of that. I just haven't yet. But uh, So yeah, it'll attach these platforms, the ones that uh, there's a spinning and, of course, the tilting one. It'll attach that at the very end. of. So you literally have to have an object for each thing. So we have this one. And, uh, sorry, this one. This is for the platform. And it'll link the long, what it, it'll generate the long links platform, uh, that object, but it'll do this page or this uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> I, I'm not very good at explaining this stuff. And I guess I should have made it like from scratch and showed you how I did it, but I didn't think ahead. <laughs> so it'll link this one right here. And then that one. In the uh, links section, we have the long uh, uh, yeah, so we have swinging vine, there's a uh, short, mid, and long. So we have the swinging vine and the swinging chain. Let's, let's uh, zoom in real quick so you can see the chain and everything. Will you stop doing that? Why do you do that? Why are you doing that? Oh my god, why are you doing that?
That is so annoying. There we go. It just didn't want to let me move it up and leave it up. But there it is. Swinging back and forth. That's the one for the chain. Alright, and this one is the one for the vine, of course. But this object is told to generate the, uh, well, this is for the uh, spikes. Okay, yeah. So there's three for the uh, spikes and three for the platforms. Yeah, my bad. And uh, it generates the, uh, the swinging vine, which generates the platform. You see what I'm saying? So each thing after another, each thing after another will generate the next thing that's necessary. And so all you have to place down in the in the uh, level is just this main thing. Tell it which... I keep calling these pages, but I don't know what else to call them. <laughs> so you tell it to go whatever page. And um, it'll then link that thing, which then links the next thing, which then links the next thing. And as long as you have the animations working properly, you'll get... Uh, Make sure there's no sound. Okay, good. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so, yeah. And this is also your look at how I've got things going right now. You have a sack of marbles. And I got... You're going to love this because I decided, you know what, if I'm going to go Mario, I'm going to go full Mario. It's a football plant. It allows you to shoot footballs from your hand, to throw footballs, an unlimited number of footballs from your hand. I decided if I'm going to be doing blocks kind of like Mario, let's just do this. So we have this power up. Woo! <laughs> I'm not completely done with how the power-ups work, but, uh, yeah. And I'm running out of time. Oh, by the way, pause. <laughs> There's a pause now. There is a pause. So, yeah. So, right now we have, of course, like I said, we have the... Uh, it still plays a lot more like a uh, Ghouls and Ghosts game, but it's just got some Mario-esque flair. That increases your health, of course. I've, I've gone through this before. All right, come on. Sack of marbles gives you marbles. Uh, oh, yeah, so here's the platform. Notice that the uh, platform doesn't tilt. And the reason that it doesn't tilt is because I'm telling it to tilt the opposite direction uh, against it or with it or however to make it not because if you don't tell it to animate itself it will animate with the damn vine now there's another issue with this and it's something that doesn't show up and i don't know how to fix it watch this damn something's wrong with it i don't you can't stand on the edge of it i should be able to stand on the edge of it and i can't and i don't know why i don't know why it works that way i need to tell the clock to stop counting down once i die Kind of start back over here. Try to get back over there to it. Yeah, it's it's the one issue that I can't figure out with it. And like I said, there's got to be a better way to make that platform the way I made it. And if somebody's got any sort of an idea feel free to share it feel free to help me figure this crap out there might be a better way to go about it and in the process we'll be able to make better things like this but yeah like it'll Ooh, yeah see how he's acting something's not right and i can't figure out what it is that does that i don't know what does that it just doesn't quite want to work right like if i were to hook the platform object yeah to a uh, uh, an actual like a pattern thing or whatever that you can have in the game. I, I can't. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. And I did the same thing for the bombs. I saw. You know, if he's just going to be throwing things like that, 
It doesn't make sense to grab a bomb and be throwing multiple bombs. It doesn't make sense to grab a football and be throwing multiple footballs, especially without ammo. So my thought process was, well, maybe it's a magical item that generates it from your hand. So I made plants. <laughs> so I copied Mario. Yep, I copied Mario. There are no bomb plants in Mario games, though. That's the thing. I came up with a power-up that's not in Mario. Like, there's no bomb plants. There's no football plants. So I think I'm making a good... Yeah, see, here's the platforms again. Uh, I can get right about here. If I try to go too much further, it doesn't... And if you'll notice, he doesn't quite stay on the platform properly. Like, he, he you can see the pixels offsetting to one side or the other. Yeah, he pushes over that away. He pushes back the other way a few pixels. I'm not sure how to go about fixing that. It doesn't feel like there's anything I can do. Um, I've tried to figure out um, different ways of doing things. And to my knowledge, like, there's not a lot I can do. Uh, they didn't... The problem is, is I'm being clever. I'm cleverly trying to figure out ways of doing these kind of things, right? But, oh wow, I'm running out of time. <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm not going to make it to the end. I'm too busy showing off, you know, and explaining things. But yeah, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I think I need to add more time to the clock. Get over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dead anyways, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, all right. I I can't figure out how to do that, but you know how in the stages, in the scenes, you can go to, what is it, um, not this, other. You can set a course up, right? There's like straight courses, and then there's curved courses, and a circle course, and then, of course, the slopes. You can do that, and you can... Uh, probably have a curved one and have it um you know you know up and down up and down up and down up and down but you then you wouldn't have the linked thing to it so there was nothing i could do for that uh nothing at all i could do for that so i did it the best way i could i was trying to do like i think there's platforms that work that way in um in S super mario and there's the ones that work that way in, um, in like, Sonic the Hedgehog. And I tried to replicate it the best I could. But I, I think I've gotten this across. I think you understand. I hope you understand. And I hope that helps people out there try to figure it out. But basically, you get creative, okay? When you're using this software, get creative. Think of things. What can I connect to this? What can I make act like this? Can I make one thing sit perfectly still and have another thing do the other thing while connected? Because I'm hoping eventually to go back to my Castlevania game and figure out a way to make a whip that attaches to, uh, like, Castlevania 4 to where you can swing across things. I, I haven't figured that out, but I'm hoping with this method I can figure that out later. So I hope that helped you out. Um... Hello, little floating whatever you are over here. What are you? What are you even with the pink hair? What are you? I don't know what you are. It's a freaking... I don't know. She's not a fairy. I mean, she's flapping with a... Oh, she's flying with her... Um. Whatever. Why is that up? Hang on. That shouldn't even be up. Sorry about that. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Look at her go. Look at you go. Flap, flap, flap. All right, I'm out.